New York City has 73 restaurants with one Michelin star or more. That's more than any other city in the U.S. Keep watching to learn what the best Michelin star restaurants in NYC are. 3 Star Restaurants La Bernardine This restaurant consistently earned its title as one of the best Michelin star restaurants in NYC. It was ranked by La Liste as one of the world's 50 best restaurants as well. It opened in Paris in 1972 and has been a three-star Manhattan staple since the ratings were first delivered in the city. Chef Eric Repair has created a seafood menu with three categories, almost raw, barely touched, and lightly cooked. Standouts include their salmon served raw with a spice blend or in a French stew known as a pot au feu. Others include the main lobster tail, monkfish, and piquito crab cake. The wine list by sommelier Aldo Somme is also worth a taste. A meal of four courses is $198. The tasting menu is $298, with wine pairing upping the price to $469. Lunch is $90 and dinner is $160. Make sure to get a reservation at least a month in advance, but you can get dining room menus at the bar and lounge at any time. 11 Madison Park This best of the best restaurant is located on Madison Avenue and is rated as one of the top 50 restaurants in the world. It has an Art Deco atmosphere thanks to the building it sits in. It's run by Chef Daniel Hum, who serves upscale American food. Each seasonal menu item focuses on the main ingredient, such as a mushroom dish for fall. They even temporarily went meatless during the pandemic. You'll get a customized eating experience here. The staff will ask you if you have any allergies before they serve you. Each dish is plated better than almost anything in New York City. The foie gras has streaks of pickled red cabbage, slivers of pearl onions, and a puck of blood sausage. Other options include cucumbers with black truffles and strawberry gelatin for dessert. Visitors will get 8 to 10 simple courses. They cost $315 per person, with a tasting menu that's $175 per person. There are also options for light snacks and cocktails. Chef's Table at Brooklyn Fair Despite its name, this restaurant is now located in Manhattan. It has an intimate feel with only 18 seats. What makes it more interesting is that it sits right next to a supermarket. Chef Cesar Ramirez combines Japanese and French cuisine. He makes the foods of these two vastly different cultures work together in a way that few other chefs have, and fans of either one should give his food a try. The tasting menu has a wide variety of seafood. It changes every day to keep things fresh and stick with what's in season. Plates are small and focused on the main ingredient. They may include a scallop with burdock root and fried monkfish liver and spicy sancho. Guests can watch the chef cook while sitting around a stainless steel bar. The restaurant's wine menu is award-winning thanks to its 7,000 bottle cellar. Their most expensive meal includes 15 to 20 courses with a bit of meat, shellfish, and dessert. The entire experience takes three hours and costs $394 per person. Masa this restaurant always passes the eye of passerbys in Columbus Circle. It only lets in 26 diners at once and has no windows. You'll feel like you're in a secret Japanese paradise with clay, cast, iron, ceramic, and glass decorations. Masa is led by Japanese chef Masayoshi Takayama. His menu uses seasonal ingredients to create dishes such as fish in shabu-shabu broth, saltwater eel with yuzu zest, wagyu, tataki, and summer truffles. Masa is also the most expensive of the best Michelin star restaurants in New York City, so be prepared to empty your wallet. Your bill depends on what you order, and each of their meals is an experience of its own. Meals in the dining room cost $5.95 per person, with add-ons or drinks costing more. It can take two hours or more to savor all 27 courses. Lunch isn't available Thursday, and indoor dining is only available from Tuesday to Saturday. Pay a bit more to sit at the Hinoki counter if you want to see it all being made. You'll also get delicious Wagyu beef omi tataki and seasonal truffles to eat while you do. Per se, this is another restaurant in Columbus Circle that deserves to call itself one of the best Michelin star restaurants in NYC. It opens up the ambiance to let diners get a beautiful view of Central Park. It's also larger than most of the others. There's a 64-seat dining room, 10-seat private dining room, lounge, bar, and wine cellar. Chef Thomas Keller combines American and French cuisine. One of his most famous dishes is his oysters and pearls, caviar and oysters atop tapioca pudding. Others include the tagliatelle with black truffles and 48-hour braised beef short ribs with carrots and artichokes. There are two nine-course options, a seasonal vegetable or chef's tasting menu. They change with the season and both cost $340. There's a vegetarian version for $355. 
you can get a 5 course tasting menu in the salon for $2.25. 2 star restaurants Aquavit Aquavit is within Park Avenue Tower. It was recently renovated to make its design match its Nordic menu. Chef Emma Bengston created dishes like crab fritters, fried cod sandwiches, mach herring, and arctic bird's nests for desserts. An eight-course chef's tasting costs $275 and $225 for a wine pairing. A smaller menu is $175 and $145 for a wine pairing. Lunch is more affordable at $75 for two courses and $85 for three. The Modern The Modern is another worthy two-star restaurant on the floor of the MoMA or Museum of Modern Art. It has five-foot ceiling windows that give you a beautiful view of the sculpture garden. You'll enjoy dishes such as tartare, wagyu with potatoes and black truffles, charred beets with tamarind and saffron, and other French delicacies. Dinner is six courses, and you can choose what you want for appetizers, entrees, and desserts with treats in between. The cost is $250 for dinner and $150 for lunch. Tips are not required. Daniel Daniel is a two-star restaurant owned and managed by Chef Daniel Boulud. Its neoclassical architecture and modern furnishings set the mood for its seasonal French menu. A seven-course tasting menu is $2.75, with wine pairings available for $1.75 or $2.25. The bar offers an a la carte menu for smaller bites. One-star restaurants Ariol. This one-star wonder is a block from Times Square. It has a liberty room for casual dining and a formal dining room. A few of their best dishes include the warm goat cheese salad, soft ramp dumplings, wagyu beef cheek goulash, crispy wild striped sea bass, and peanut and chocolate gâteau. Six courses and two drinks are only 150 bucks. Café Boulud Café Boulud has only one Michelin star, but it has earned three stars in the New York Times. It's owned by chef Daniel Boulud, who has 14 other restaurants. Go here for a French dining experience for less money. It's close to Central Park and sits in the Surrey Hotel. A few of the best dishes here include papillette of sea bass, foie gras torchon, crescent farm Dutch bread, and molten chocolate cake. They even provide madelines for dessert for free. Recent changes to the ratings. The full list of Michelin star restaurants in New York as of 2022 has been released. It was established on October 6th. 17 NYC restaurants got a one-star rating for the first time, including One Wine Street, The French American Clover Hill, and Dirt Candy. Sema became the only Indian restaurant to earn a star. Korean restaurants such as Jumak Banjum, Yoshinu, and Number 17 also joined the list. 11 restaurants got dropped. Peter Luger's Steakhouse couldn't bounce back from a terrible review by Pete Wells. Italian spot Morea also lost its accolades, as did ZZ's Clam Bar and Major Food Group. Two new restaurants earned a two-star status. They include Italian spot Al Coro, which opened three months ago, and Saga, a tasting spot. New awards in addition to stars were given out. The Bib Gourmand is given to those with two courses and a glass of wine for 49 bucks. It makes them ineligible for stars and is considered a lesser award, but still an honor for chefs. All the three-star restaurants maintained their standing. 11 Madison Park's vegan menu didn't go over well, but it wasn't enough to ruin its reputation. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to a Michelin star restaurant in New York City? Let us know in the comments section below.